Hi, welcome to ePlan Tips and Tricks. In this particular episode, we're going to be going through plot frames, how to use them in a project, maybe even a modification if we have time. Okay, so first thing I need is a project, so let's get one of them open. Okay, we'll start with that one just there. Okay, we can see in here we have a plot frame uh, down at the bottom just section in here. Show me page revisions and project revisions. Uh, you'll see the difference in them if you refer to the uh, revision module one that we've actually done earlier before. So in here you can see all the different bits of data of how I want to see something. Um, one of the nice things about plot frames is how they physically function. So in here I've got my column numbers, columns one, uh, sorry, columns zero through to column nine, and we can see how all, how all that works. If I go to my view and paths, you can see I have some path sections in here. And interestingly enough, this is how ePlan makes its cross references. So in here you will always see that you have a page number. Page number is obviously always shown down in the section here. So this is page one. If I jump across to here, I can see I go to column one of a separate page and you see the cross references as they come back and forward. So that's how you get your cross references for your column within the actual plot frame itself. So again, that view and path is always easy to see. So view and paths. Okay, so how are we gonna make some changes to this particular plot frame? So, utilities, master data plot frame open. This is where we can see some of the different details. Now, I would always highly suggest if you are gonna make a plot frame, don't make a new one. Take a copy of an ePlan original plot frame. It has all the data in there that you need to make changes. And uh, it's just gonna be a lot easier. A lot of the logic is already preset in there. You just need to modify the logic, not having to make it from new. Okay, so this is one that we use for some of our customer sections. So in here I can see page revision set is on here. I can see I don't want it to be page revision anymore. I want it to be page modification. So again, this is just normal text modification. There we go. Quite easy to do. Again, you can change things like images on here, so I can get rid of this image, insert, graphic, give myself a different image file, head out to my default folder, and I can have images of almost anything I want, so uh, let's pick out something, pick out anything, that'll do. So again, I can bring in images of what I need it to be. Again, there we have now an image. Again, in here you can start to make data changes on these as well. Now, the first time you open up your plot frame to make modifications, what you might find is a lot of text. So under the view section, you'll see something called properties as numbers. Yours may look like that, but again, view properties as numbers is gonna help you out. If it's a number, if it's a reference, if it's text, it's just dumb text. Again, that makes life a little bit easier. So again, things like here, I can see I have on here, I can have the drawing number of the actual page property itself. I may be able to do something different. So against page, I'll be able to come up to the top or scroll it down and say, ah, what trade is it? I can then go through, I can pick out any of the properties on here. Ah, watermark. So I can pick up the different watermarks that may want to show. Okay, once I've done that, I can then close it down, synchronize it, and I can then see the change to my plot frame. Very quick and very easy. Now, if you need to change plot frames completely, i.e. you've received a project from somebody else and you want to put your project in there, uh, you want to put your plot frame in there, again, it's a very simple thing to do. You can simply go to Options and Settings, Project, Management of Pages, and you can choose your standard plot frame for this particular project. And I'll change it over to FN00113. I click that in place and you can see I've now changed to a completely different plot frame for the whole project. If you do find a page that hasn't changed, you just need to be aware of one last little thing. When you open up the page properties, you may see a plot frame section just here. If that plot frame section is blank, it will refer to the default project plot frame, but you can make individual changes for individual pages. So again, if you're doing some drawings that need to be in portrait rather than landscape, you can make a separate plot frame and choose them on an individual basis. Okay, thanks for your time.